I'm Robita, the traveling hypnotherapist, and I help heal with hypnosis. And I'm here with Karen. And we did uh, two sessions. We did the second session was exactly one week ago. And the, yeah. first, the first session was five days before that. Uh, Karen, would you like to just introduce yourself to the people that might be interested in trying hypnosis with yeah. me? Well, I'm uh, Karen Fensa from Holland, uh, 54 years old. And I met Robito in Sri Lanka in 2000, 2018. And uh, normally I speak Dutch, so uh, if you can hear. <laughs> um, and coincidentally, uh, we um, had this match um, uh, on the hypnos uh, area. Uh, I stopped smoking for now about four months ago uh, through, uh, uh, with help of hypnos. And it was a very uh, successful. The stories, then, sorry, the story is really interesting because I started get I, I I became interested in hypnotherapy for the same reason because I wanted to stop smoking. I was in Spain and I was looking for um, a hypnotherapist to stop smoking. I couldn't afford it; it was too expensive in Malaga at the time. Um, so I just stopped, uh, we call it cold turkey, I just stopped uh, uh, without the hypnosis, but I found the UK Hypnosis Academy, a guy called Carl Smith, I haven't mentioned him in any of my videos yet, so I should really mention him because he blew my mind, it was just amazing the way that he teaches, uh, or the way, yeah, the way that he teaches how to do hypnotherapy to other people, mm -hmm. um, so I found that, and then I, I obviously, when I was ready to start offering sessions, I offered sessions to the people that I know. And then you replied and you said, I've just also used hypnotherapy for smoking and I'm super enthusiastic about hypnosis now. Basically, that's yeah. how, how it started, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I, uh, you asked me to, uh, to do a hypnosis and I thought, um, well, I've I, I I had some thoughts, um, how do you say, uh, problems, uh, things. I um, solved them all, I thought. But it's always nice to uh, have this emotional cleaning. So um, the first time I didn't expect a lot of things coming up. But um, surprisingly, uh, it, uh, how do you say it? Uh, it shake was, me up uh, yeah. yeah it was the opposite <laughs> it was the opposite yes i was yeah. uh, three days i was very tired didn't sleep well um emotional uh, it felt good but um i was surprised by it yeah 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 so it had a lot of impact yeah so the uh so so carl smith who i first started learning the hypnosis from um he calls it an emotional detox uh, I call it an emotional cleaning. And it's really just everybody has stored emotions, feelings, thoughts, whatever, stored in the body from, from past experiences. And so many people think that they don't need it. Um, but then from my experience, when people have the cleaning, they realize, wow, like so much relief. So so it, they feel so different afterwards. Could you just explain to to the people watching, like how was the how was it to be in hypnosis, and how did it feel to have that emotional cleaning? Well, the first time, I think it was pretty easy to go in hypnosis, but I was all, also aware of the ego, what was trying to get me back, uh, uh, try to um, let me look, uh, take a look at myself. Mm. Can I say it something like this? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I said to the, my ego, shut up, <laughs> let it go, leave, leave me alone. <laughs> I just want to be here. And then it, but it was up and down. So I, there was a, um, uh, I reacted on it. Like ego didn't want me to lose the control like that. Yeah. Um, the um, uh, images, I don't know. I'm, I think the second one was more in my memory now. Well, I, I remember with the first one, I just remember that the, as, as everything was released, it, it was physically, your body was physically yes, moving. Yes, I was shaking. Uh, as yeah. everything came out. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So then, so then, just with the first session, because the second session was more recent. But with the first session, then uh, we went back to your younger self, yeah. and you visited your younger self. And this is just to, after that delicate releasing the negative stuff, to put some self love back into, into those gaps, if you like, where you've released all that stuff, so that. So that the ne- the idea then is so that the negativity can't just come back, can't just refill, mm-hmm. refill it up with something else. So how was that uh, uh, experience of visiting your younger self? Did you see yourself? Was it visual? Was it more like a feeling? I saw a picture of myself. I know f- from when I was 11 um, and I hugged myself and um, I, it was the feeling I was very... Um, uh, caring for my younger self, my younger part. Um, I was touched by it. So mm. Mm. The, uh, yeah. I think it touched the part of me what's still alive that I'm always trying so very hard and it doesn't always work, work out. So, uh, and, and when I was 11, I did the same, I think. But it was more, uh, I think I, I started doing that at 11 o'clock, uh, 11 o'clock, 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so many people, when they, when they visit their younger self, they realize that, oh, I've forgotten about this. You know, I've, like a part of me has, has let this, this love for myself go to the mm. side or um, it's very common that it's like, it's emotional. Yeah. It's touching to, to, to go back to, Oh yeah, I need to be really loving myself all yeah, the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, after that first session, um, you didn't feel cleaned and fresh. It was actually a, <laughs> a, a it was actually a difficult few days, right? So we did another yes. session afterwards. Yeah. 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 So then, the second session, which was a week ago now, um, yeah. Would you? What, how would you? Would you like to describe that um, session? Whew. There's a lot in that session. We did so much. Yes. Um, I mean, can I say what the session was? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. So I call it, I, I created the session, not just for you, but for two other people who all kind of needed the same thing at exactly the same time. So I did this session three times in one day and I, 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 I created it and I called it a self-love session. And it was just really... Every, uh, not going into your specific details, but from those three different people on that day, the, 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 you could bring it all kind of back down to so many people have issues with, I'm not good enough. This feeling of somehow, for some reason, I'm not good enough the way that I am. So I based a session around this just to make everybody on that day, those three sessions, make, make everybody hopefully then walk away from that session with a new a new you a new mm-hmm. feeling of I am enough I'm perfect the way that I am anything else that happens that's positive is a bonus anything that happens that's negative doesn't really matter because I am enough so that was the idea yeah how did it work for you <laughs> yes um I, I I I understand the idea and it is how it worked for me um um i don't know exactly the uh, way we we went through it we started with um uh another kind of emotional release just to see if there was anything left that needed to be releasing and that was a lot smoother that that was just a very smooth experience compared to that first time so obviously you had got all the big stuff out in the first session um, and we don't even really need to know what that big stuff was because your subconscious knows what mm-hmm. it was, you know, and, and releases that stuff. OK. Um, and then, yeah. So then you went back to the younger self and we took the younger self with you on this mystical, magical journey. Yes. Yeah. OK. And there were three parts. So the first part was going into the past to a significant memory that could help you to be happier uh, and full of joy today? Yes, and I, I went back to my, my youth when I was about six, seven, eight years old, old 
and I used to be after dinner. I used to be on the my the lap of my daddy, <laughs> and uh, it felt very uh, a happy moment. It was uh, it. I liked it uh, a lot, mm. um, but I was yeah I was seven eight years old. So uh, it touched me that I had to go back that far to find a really innocent happy moment. So it um, I think I got some tears, but. Uh, on the other side, I tried to be happy. I could find it. It was okay. And and then also I asked you to uh, to, to to listen to your intuition, to find that intuition feeling, and just to see yeah. if there's any kind of special message or meaning from that memory. Yeah, um, the port. Yeah. Or the, uh, we had this to jump when we, uh, on, a, on a jumping uh, in the swimming pool. Oh, <laughs> just, okay. just go. Just go, don't, and that, it was very... Uh, uh, Vivid, like clear. Clear, uh, that I didn't have to um, hold on uh, on the things what was on my back or the safety or just go, it's okay. And that's what I felt a few days after the session that I was, um, the, the things on my back, they were uh, gone. The, I had, um, uh, um, I used to um, check my actions uh, on my uh, past. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and now I felt I don't do that anymore for, for a few days. Now I realize, hey, it's coming back, but I'm uh, aware of it now. Uh, just leave it, leave it. It's not important. So I, I'm... Um, the feeling, I'm more in the now. It's I, I really saw it like a line. And I was always a, a few uh, passes back, a few steps back from the now. And now yeah. I'm in the now. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to join me on the Sunday morning again, well, uh, that's what that's all about, really, is like you can't keep going into hypnosis every single week, but we can use the meditation to stay in the now. Okay, yeah. So that's that's the focus of that, really, so, nice. that we don't, yeah. so we don't lose it. Because mm -hmm. we can clear out all that emotional stuff, but if we go back into the thinking, worrying mind, it will just slowly all collect again. Yeah. So, so yeah. the trick is to not do that. Yeah. This makes me so happy though when people say, "Like I'm now, I'm more in the now. I feel like the, the stress, the 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 backpack, the rucksack of stress yeah. has been taken yeah. off." And then we finished with going into the future. Yes. And going into the future was to see your future self. Mm hmm. Uh. Was that vivid? Was that clear? Could you see yourself there in the future? Yeah, I think it was um, about six to 12 months. Uh, I saw myself in another house. <laughs> and I'm thinking about that, uh, living in, in the city, in the center of the city or uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the green area. Uh, yeah. And now I thought, oh, well, I think it, it should be the green area. <laughs> Because I saw a house with a garden and a lot of trees and green and uh, and there was peace and I was there was silence and I was happy and I, you asked me for a color then and I said uh, well it's um, orange mm. <laughs> like a an orange <laughs> that color orange very strange but it triggered me to uh, uh, look for more color in my life mm. I think I'm uh, well. That was a, the lesson for me. It's uh, it's joy. It's uh, fresh uh, energy. Yeah. So if you go to a, a a vision of you in this new house where it's all where where you're in a greener area, mm -hmm. this is this is your subconscious. I mean, you chose this memory, uh, this 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 uh, vision, this idea of you in the future. Because this is what your subconscious is saying will make you happy or it's what you want. So yeah. even yeah. that, even that is a message. You know, the message is if you're thinking about moving, you said you're thinking about moving, then obviously yeah. deep inside, this is something that you should do. Right. Yeah. Your subconscious is saying this is a great idea. Do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, OK. <laughs> this is the a beauty, because when when I when I say, OK, now go to a memory, you're choosing that memory for a reason. And, and yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's like your own personal inner desire is coming out. So, yeah. so great. Yeah. Another, another. Yeah. So I'm looking message, forward for it. Yeah. Yeah. A message for the yeah. future at the same time. Yeah. 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 Um. The only other thing we did that we did in that session, I don't know if you remember, is we went into a, a um, 
I call it the subconscious cleanup. When you go into a room, everything's messy. And then we tidy everything up. We put everything yeah. back into the correct place. We get rid of all the crap. You can blow it up, destroy it, get rid of it. Uh, and this is just really like you committing to yourself that this is going to be the new you, that when you finished this session, I am actually going to be this new person. So mm -hmm. this, this process, and then if you remember also when I said, okay, now count back up to 10 and only open your eyes and only come back when you know that you really are going to be this new person. So, mm -hmm. so this part of the session is about you committing to yourself that, yeah, I am going to do that. When you were tidying up that room and getting rid of the crap and blowing it up, was, was, what was that experience like, if you'd like to share something about it? Uh, well, it, feel, it felt very fine, uh, very nice. Um, I realized that, that I had uh, a lot of uh, um, mess in my, in my head, maybe, but also in my, in my house here. So I, in, in, uh, in my head, I cleaned the uh, room my uh, roof uh, roof room how do you say and uh, the um loft. the loft yes mm -hmm. and um yeah it was uh, it was it was easy um it felt good and i think because of that i had a lot of energy the days after it the first days i, I didn't sleep well but uh in day on the day i had um I, I clean things, I repair things, um, um, I should do it for years, and now I finally did it, so oh, fantastic. it, it went, went on uh, in real life, yeah. Yeah, you took it with you, that's fantastic. Yeah. Did, yeah. You have, did you have fun blowing, it, blowing, it, blowing up the crap or getting rid of the rubbish? Do you remember yes. how you did it? Yeah. Yes, and I like to um, uh, get rid of um, old stuff. So mm. I, uh, um, I don't have a, a room full of things. I just throw it away. Uh, so for me, it's, it's cleaning up my head. Cleaning my house is cleaning my head. Mm. And I think mm. that's the relation. Uh, yeah, I would call that subconscious cleaning. It's also kind of like a mind cleaning. Yeah, just kind of yeah. reorganizing everything. Yeah. Um, uh, no, just because when people blow up the, ne the, 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 the negative stuff, the stuff that they don't need in that room, uh, sometimes they do it in really amusing ways, you know, like fire a rocket into space or something like that. Uh, they, I did it in the, in the car uh, uh, after my, my, uh, my, my car, the, the thing to bring it to the... Oh, the trailer, know, like in the, the trailer, yeah, yes, in the trailer, trailer at the back yes. and took it to the it's skip all there. Yeah. and yeah. threw it into the skip. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah fantastic. Yeah. So um, there was one other question I wanted to ask. I can't remember. So then I guess just, okay, so the, oh, that was it. Yeah, so you said that you couldn't sleep um, mm -hmm. the first few days afterwards. So this is just important for anyone who's watching that I always explain at the end of a session about the snow globe that, you know, like we've sh we shake up your subconscious, everything gets moved around and it takes a few days for some people for everything just to settle back down. And that can come out with a little bit of emotion, crying, spurts of happiness. And it can also, some people sleep like a baby and some people it can take a few days for that to just settle back down again. But now, how do you feel now? So now it's a week later. Yeah, I feel uh, very fine. Uh, I'm relaxed. I slept well this night. It was uh, um, uh, for the first time I woke up in the middle of the night and my mind um, went on. Um, Thought, a lot of thoughts and now I, I just said to myself well maybe it's uh, wise to go to quiet up here and go to sleep and like I just had to say it and I went back to sleep and I woke up this morning <laughs> and earlier uh, this week um, I couldn't stop my thoughts mm. I know I should sleep but it didn't work and now I thought oh it worked I woke up at eight o'clock and I thought, oh, uh, it worked. <laughs> I just slept. Yeah. So I, I sleep well now. Great. Karen. I'm relaxed. Yeah. 
right? If uh, if you do have more problems with sleeping, that's uh, that's actually what I'm working on right now. I'm I'm going to, uh, and also on the Sunday mornings, the lazy Sundays when we do the meditation, I'm going to do something yeah. about that as well. Just how to shut the mind off, because hypnosis is so close to sleep. It's basically the hypnagogic state is in between being awake and being asleep. So mm. if you're already going down into that hypnosis, into that hypnagogic state, all you've got to do is not come back out and then you will go to sleep. Mm. So mm. It's, it's just that relaxing into that, switching off the mind and just letting go before you go to sleep. And okay. we, can we can learn to do that for ourselves as well so mm. that... You don't so you don't need a kind of a hypnotist uh, every okay. night and i don't need you to wake me up in the morning <laughs> no no exactly no. yeah um all right so just to finish uh, then what would you say to people that are considering trying hypnosis and trying hypnosis with me would you recommend it would you say it's a good idea yes i would say absolutely a good idea and even if you think um you're fine um i think there were a lot of things in me, in my unconscious, they were stuck. Uh, my mind um, put them somewhere and they came up again um, on the hypnosis. And I feel really relieved now. I feel lighter. Um, I can stop the, the worry, worries. Uh, um, looking back, what did I do? What did I say? I shouldn't do this. Uh, oh, that was stupid. I don't bother anymore for now. I hope it stays like this, <laughs> but we'll work on it. Um, yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, just just try it once, try it. And and, and don't be scared if, uh, if you're not happy uh, the next day, <laughs> because for me, it took, I think three days. Then it, it came down and uh, it's, yeah, your, the, the emotions, um, uh, they all wake up say yeah. it's like that yeah, yeah. so i would sh surely uh, recommend you uh for that nose very yeah. good and also yeah. this what i say to people as well is you've got nothing to lose because the worst no. thing that can happen is that it doesn't work yeah so some yeah. people are some people some people have uh, expressed to me that they're a bit afraid that they might get lost in the hypnosis mm. um, but it's not like that at all is it you're fully aware no. you know exactly what's happening Yes, I think you should. Um, you uh, more you can be afraid um, that your ego won't let you go into the hypnosis because the, the there is a um, um, energy that wants to wake you, to keep you awake mm -hmm. and just let it go. That I think that's the exercise to just relax and go there, mm -hmm. and you'll you'll be back. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if you don't trust it you uh, stop yourself you you um yeah yeah you just stop. just trust just trust you need trust to go in hypnosis so yeah. you won't stay there if you don't want to <laughs> exactly and you can't go into hypnosis if you don't no. want to it's no. it's it's so much about letting go yeah um, and um and yeah. you're not totally away you're not totally um sleeping or uh it, 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 yeah it's easy to wake up if you want to yeah, yeah if you've had enough in fact there was yeah. there was one session that i had with one uh, one lady and uh uh oh yeah she was uh, we were in the the subconscious cleanup she was cleaning up the room and then she just opened her eyes and came back and i was like no you're you're just supposed to wait for me to count to five or something like that. She goes, no, no, I finished already. I put everything into a, a coffin. I buried the coffin. I, 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 I put the soil over the top and I'm finished. It's all, it's all yeah. done. Like, okay, yeah. if, if you're done, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, good. Thank you very much, Karen. And you look fantastic. Like, it, I really believe that you can see the difference in people Okay. Um, after the cleaning, you know, like the, when you said you feel relief and you feel fresh, yeah. Like yeah. I really, really feel like you can see it. You can see that the, the person is like more relaxed. The, I don't know. Mm. The eyes are sparkling, all of that mm. type of stuff. Yeah. So th mm. oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for doing this testimonial and uh, I'll stop it now. And okay. then we'll, we'll just continue to have a little bit of a chat afterwards. Yeah.
Okay. Thank you. you know, Karen. Thank you. Do we have to turn it like this? No, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. You can take us higher seats. Ooh. Okay. Oh, now I can't uh, see you though. No, no. before was better. Now I can just, I can just see the, I can just see the plant. <laughs> <laughs>